Hey guys. Good afternoon. Jason here. I am doing a quick review on uh, the final setup that I'm really comfortable with. This is the Canon EOS M50 uh, streaming live to you on YouTube uh, via OBS. Um, the Canon EOS M50 comes with a kit lens at 15 to 45 millimeters, and I've also bought a EFM a 22 millimeter f2 pancake lens. So that's what I'm using right now, and that's what you're seeing on the screen. Um, the f2 aperture allows for a slight blurring of the background, uh, as you can see at the back, uh, giving more prominence to the subject being filmed, which is me. Yeah. Um, for an even more shallow depth of field, I'm trying to get my hands on a Sigma 16 mm uh, 1.4 f1.4, uh, which costs about um, 1,600 ringgit. Yeah, so I can't afford it right now. Uh, so I'll use the pancake lamp to add on to my M50. Now, uh, why did I buy the M50? It's because uh, Canon recently, a couple of months back, uh, came out with this Canon webcam utility beta driver, uh, where it allowed, where Canon allows for the latest uh, Canon models uh, to act as a webcam, connecting directly to your computer. This works on uh, both Windows as well as Mac OSs. And uh, the beauty is all you need to do is to plug in a micro USB you know, into the camera and a USB port into the computer and there you go, you have got a webcam uh, with amazing quality. Now, buying a webcam, there are generally three considerations. Number one, it should have a flip out screen, right? And this flip up or flip to the side screen will allow you to monitor yourself so you can see how you look like uh, from the camera and you know whether you're in frame or you're out of frame, right? That's the one. Number two, it's also the resolution. Now generally, if you're streaming, 1080p should be sufficient, right? Uh, I don't think anybody's streaming at 4K at this moment, right? And lastly is the frames per second. Yeah, you should do at least 30 frames per second, etc. Um, now the third point is whether you have an interchangeable lens or not, right? So if you have an interchangeable lens, then your applications of the camera will be huge. You can use it on a desk, you can use it when you're fl filming outside, you can get a lens with uh, image stabilization, you can get a lens that blurs the background, you can get a macro lens, you can get a fish eye lens, etc. So the possibilities are endless. However, I, I must say that not all applications uh, can use the M50 as a webcam at the moment, but I'm sure after Canon's beta testing, uh, the final driver would support all the major video conferencing and streaming softwares uh, like Zoom, Skype, uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, Twitch, StreamYard, uh, etc. And et Unfortunately, what you're seeing on the screen right now, the resolution is maxed out at 1024 times 576 only. So you're not seeing this in 1080. Uh, however, I personally feel that the resolution is more than enough, especially if you're vlogging, or um, just doing some product reviews. So um, the beauty about the Canon M50 is it's two-step autofocus, right? So if you look at the flip screen, you will be able to see a little box on your face and there'll be face tracking together with eye tracking. So it's tracking your eyes, right? I see you. So if I move to the left, all right, or even move to the back a little bit, right? the face tracking autofocus is pretty seamless, right? As you can see, it's pretty fast auto-focus, right? So I'm just doing a quick test to move front, whee, and back, and front, and back. Yeah. So the autofocus tracks the face really quickly. Yeah. So that is the beauty of the, the, the Canon M50 and some of the other Canon cameras. Um, now talking about the frame rate, 30 FPS is generally more than enough for streaming, yeah. Uh, unless you are doing some game uh, streaming, uh, then you may need uh, 60 FPS. As a camera itself, the uh, in a camera mode when you switch it to video mode, you can do uh, 60 frames per second. So with that, you can record some decent uh, slow mo videos, and uh, you can also tweak uh, in camera video setting. You can shoot at 4K even 4K resolution. 
at 30 frames per second. However, you would lose the sharp autofocus and in my opinion, the autofocus is only effective at full HD. So if you want to shoot in 4K, buy another camera, right? Don't you buy the M50. Now, I'll just do a quick test on the FPS, right? So this is 30 frames per second, you know, with multiple movement. I got you! Yeah, so this is tons of movement, right? I know, I wish I can dance, but I can't. So, um, this is the frames per second test. Uh, I feel it is pretty smooth uh, when streaming over YouTube. Uh, on Facebook, it's not as clear, right? So, I've only tested uh, Facebook and YouTube for the moment, and I'm very happy with the YouTube quality, right? Um, now, uh, in terms of compatibility, the M50 can be fitted with an aftermarket uh, converter. So what happens is that the lenses in the M50 can be compatible with the other Canon EF lenses. Uh, however, uh, the M50 is, uh, has got an APS-C sensor, meaning it's slightly smaller than full frame. So if you attach an EF lens, a full frame lens, uh, there will be some cropping. Yeah? So there are some other videos on YouTube that are explaining the, the cropping uh, on the final image. Lastly, uh, talk a little bit about audio. So uh, when you use the Canon M50 as a webcam, there is no audio coming out of the USB cable. So you need to get an external audio source, right? And if you're serious about vlogging, if you're serious about doing live streaming, I think you should get another uh, audio source anyway, right? You can either use a lapel mic, or an, uh, like for example, what I'm running now is I'm running a condenser. Uh, Audio Technica AT2020 mic, uh, which is out of frame, you can't see it. Uh, maybe I'll bring it up for you to take a quick look. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so this is a condenser going to the mixer and it's going out through a Behringer uh, audio interface back into OBS. So when audio and video goes into OBS separately, it's very important to do a syncing to ensure that your video and audio is in sync. In my experience, the video is slightly slower than the audio. So what we need to do is go to the advanced settings and delay the audio. In this video, um, the audio is delayed for about uh, 300 milliseconds. Then uh, audio sync would be perfect. Right? Hopefully, this video would be perfect. So I, I think in summary, the M50 is amazing for vlogging. Uh, the new price of a Canon M50 imported could be about 2005-2006 plus the kit lens. The additional pan kit lens comes about 1001 or you can get it slightly cheaper second hand. Very worth it. And there are a lot of people talking about the uh, Canon color, right? Uh, do a quick YouTube search or Google search on the Canon color and you could be amazed at the picture quality, right? And lastly, I just want to touch a little bit on lighting. Lighting is everything. Of course, your camera is important, but getting a good lighting uh, when you're vlogging is super important. Right now, I'm just running one LED ring light in uh, my little studio here. The rear lights have been turned off. And of course, if I have additional lighting, that'll be even nicer. Yeah? Background lighting, the fill lights. Uh, but I think it's sufficient for vlogging for the moment. Uh, do stay tuned, do subscribe to uh, this channel. Uh, I'll upload more videos, more reviews. In my next video, I would go into the cine styling uh, where you can change the color schemes of uh, what the Canon M50 is capturing. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.